Trump was installed as the president of the United States in order to weaken the alliances that were preventing Putin from achieving his goals. Alliances like NATO, our relationship with our European partners, our relationship with Ukraine. Trump was put in as a bulldozer. And he was also put in, as Malcolm said, as a bulldozer to the Constitution, to our system of checks and balances, to our system of institutional trust, and the unwillingness of people in the United States to confront the brokenness of those institutions. You know, I I recall in 2016 the way uh, Russia targeted specifically black voters. Russia poses a myriad of threats. But let's be frank here. They pose a fundamental threat to the existence of the United States founding document, the Constitution of the United States. Trumpism is a danger for democracy. We've been saying this. The idea of this can't happen here. Well, listen, when I look at the attack on the Capitol in Ukraine, I also, it reminds me of an attack that happened here on U.S. soil by U.S. citizens on January 6th of last year. The letter says the special counsel did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with the Russians to interfere in the election. He found no evidence that the guy in the White House conspired with Russia. There was no collusion between Trump or any American, for that matter, when it comes to colluding with Russia, which I would say, whether you like the president or you hate him, that's something we should all be happy about. I don't buy that he's completely exonerated the way he just said. Well, he says he's completely yeah, exonerated. but the but Republican there are lots of Party questions. are back. The Russians were successful. I don't think there's any way to read that report and not conclude they accomplished what they set out to do. They are devastated. The Democrats lost so big today. Their party is in shambles right now. The Democrats had nothing. And now they have less than nothing. There was no evidence of collusion. But you know, naivete, uh, disrespect for established processes, actually lead you into a position where you could be exploited by an adversary. And, and we might find that to be true. The Russia is doing everything they can to have their asset remain uh, in the Oval Office, as strange as that sounds. Who knows what a second term will be like? I think we do know. Uh, it will be Moscow's for the taking. We will all learn to speak Russian. To us, there is no greater duty than reporting the truth and fighting back against the corrupt corporate news narratives that are poisoning our country. For us to continue to be the largest independent creator of no-nonsense, objective, conservative news content on the web, we need your help. The help of you and patriots exactly like you. We can do this.